them and we essentially had the role of going to the local uh, water sites, the Lake Tampere, Des Plaines River, where we uh, took various water samples and different swab samples of things such as picnic benches, um, socks even, uh, and just various objects that we found, cans, bottles, and we would go back to the lab then and just perform uh, different tests on them in order to see different results um, to detect for the presence of what are known as coliform bacteria. This project was funded by the Doherty Center, which was a key player behind the scenes. Uh, they gave us the money necessary to buy the research supplies in order to complete this project. Uh, the supplies we used, the assays we used, the tests the students got to use were standard assays employed by the Illinois EPA. So the students got to get hands-on experience using techniques that are used to monitor these coliform bacteria. So what are coliform bacteria? Coliform bacteria are routinely found in animal feces. They are used as an indicator for disease. So normally your typical drinking water supplies, etc., are tested for the presence of coliform bacteria. Uh, and if they find coliform bacteria in there, then that's a indication of contamination in the water supply. Okay. Beaches where you can swim at are routinely tested for coliform bacteria. So sometimes when you see beach closings, that's where it comes from. Okay, so in our case, the, the recreational areas we looked at, there was no swimming, but people fish and they boat. Well, the interesting result, or the one that the students uh, were a little surprised at, was one, when we were testing fishing line out here for the levels of coliform bacteria, they really expected to see high levels of coliform bacteria on the fishing line. We also sampled some of the fishermen's hands, and, and they, again, they expected to see high levels of coliform bacteria, but we didn't see that. We saw very low levels, which means that there's a very low chance of them being infected. Okay, getting gastrointestinal illnesses when out fishing. However, when we were out one day, and it had just rained the night before, the grass was still wet, and we're walking around, and one of the students says, you know, my socks are getting wet. We go back to the lab, we analyzed his socks, we saw that the socks had extremely high levels of coliform bacteria. Basically our conclusion was that yes there are harmful levels of coliform in the water at these sites however most people don't interact with water enough in order to be infected so they don't have to worry as much about coming in contact with certain other things at the site outside of the water. Based on our results if you're smart about what you do, if you're mindful of where you're at, you're perfectly fine. The chances of you getting sick is extremely low. However, if you get your hands wet, if you're dealing with areas that are wet, maybe you want to have that little bottle of Purell to, to wipe your hands off before you eat or drink anything or touch your mouth.